loading the capillary tube. First grab a capillary tube and push the open end into the solid. This will push a small amount of the solid into the top of the capillary. Then turn it over and gently tap the capillary tube on the lab bench to get the solid to fall to the bottom. Repeat this step until you have a few millimeters of solid at the bottom of the tube. If the solid is stuck at the top, you can use a burette to help the solid reach the bottom. Place the capillary closed side down at the top and let it fall to the bottom of the burette. You can also use the tapper on the side of the melt temp. Place the capillary tube into the tamper and press the button. It will automatically stop after a few seconds. You can repeat this process as many times as you need to get the solid to fall to the bottom of the capillary. Setting the parameters. First, select the starting temperature by pressing the start temp button. Then, press the up or down arrow to the appropriate starting temperature and press start to confirm. Next, press the ramp rate button. Again, press the up or down arrow to select the ramp rate. Typically, the slower the ramp rate, the more accurate your measurement. Press the start stop button to confirm. It can be useful to set this to 10 when you have a high melting point because this will bring the apparatus up to temperature faster. Just remember to lower it once you're ready to begin. Finally, select the stopping temperature by pressing the stop temp button, followed by the up or down arrows until you have reached the max temp you expect to need. Press the start stop button to confirm. Once you have entered the parameters, press the start button again and the melt temp will begin to preheat as indicated by the red light next to the preheat label. Once the apparatus is up to the start temp, a green light will illuminate next to the ready mark. The melt temp will stay ready until you press the start stop button. When you're ready to begin, press the start stop button and the melt temp will switch to melt. Don't forget to switch the ramp rate to a lower rate, such as 2 degrees a minute, for the actual measurement. Insert your capillary tube into the top of the apparatus. Note that you can run up to three samples at a time. Melting point range. The melting point is a physical property of a solid and can be used to help identify a substance. In practice, a solid usually melts over a range of temperatures rather than at one specific temperature. For this reason, it's more useful to speak of a melting point range. Although the term melting point is usually used, what is meant is a melting point range. If the compound melts over a very narrow range, it can be usually assumed that the compound is relatively pure. If it melts at a wide range or at a lower than expected temperature, it can be assumed that it is relatively impure. Here we can see a relatively pure substance begin its melting point at around 82.2 degrees and finishes melting around 83.5 degrees. This indicates a relatively pure sample.